Will help BD. Ice. Reminds me of Elam. You've been through a lot, huh? Are you all right? Yeah. I think so. What was that? Was it... I don't know what that was. If you feel it again, you will tell me. I will. Good. Cal? <gasps> oh, finally, I was worried sick. Wait, don't tell me. He was fighting the entire base, wasn't he? You are right. Okay, Cal. We got no boat. We got no compass. Now tell me the truth. I can take it. We lost him. One compass remains. If you were hearing this, you know where I've left it. But if the compass is gone, do not despair. What's this? This isn't just the last goodbye. There is another way to reach Tanalor. Activate the arrays and align them to the coordinates embedded in this message. There's a control center here. If we align the arrays, we can create a flight path through the abyss. Wait a minute. Let me get this straight. You want me to fly the Manus through a ship-eating nebula using a tiny tunnel carved out by 200-year-old tech? Yes. Yeah. All right, I'm in. Okay, let's pick our next destination. How can we be sure this experiment's gonna work anyway? We cannot. <laughs> so we start up some arrays, whatever those are, punch a hole in the abyss and then fly through? Yeah, that's pretty much it. About to drop out of hyperspace. Sit down. Close to finishing this, one way or another. Yeah. I keep thinking about what happened on Nova Garon. I know. Just don't brood so much that you lose your edge. We're counting on you. Yeah. I understand. We're in this together. That's what's keeping me going. What are you still doing here? Just checking in. Don't you worry. By the time those arrays are activated, I'll have the manners in top condition. Thanks, Grace. Head to the control center. I'll hold down the port here and get the manners in shape for its final, I mean, uh, next destination. Let's move. Welcome, welcome. 
them, make yourself at home. So what happened to your smuggling operation? The Galactic Empire. Not long after the end of the Clone Wars, the Empire cracked down on my shipping operation. That ruined everything. Many of my associates saw the relative safety of the huts, good riddance. Most of them were snakes, anyway. But some of them... ...lost people I didn't expect to lose. I'm sorry, Moran. That's rough. No, I'm sorry. I seem to have forgotten asking for your pity. All right, then. Cal, I've been meaning to, uh... Well, I was a little curt when last we spoke about how my shipping operation was shut down. Don't worry. I've heard worse. I really did lose everything, you know. And everyone. That's what brought me to Koba with what few wares I had left. Monk lets me keep my things in the back room. Go on. See if anything suits your fancy. Not like anyone here has credits to spend. Anyhow, I shouldn't take my troubles out on you. Thanks, Moran. More Imperials by the day. Looks like the party's over before it even began. So how'd you go from making sounds on Riosa to becoming a producer? Well, I put together a few rough tracks. Handed them out to friends, and things spread word of mouth. Started playing enough gigs to do it full time. Eventually, someone with influence caught a listen as they were passing through. They'd worked with Max Rebo, so I figured they were legit. Max Rebo? That is legit. Exactly. Said they could give me some gigs in the core. When they said core, I heard like, Chandrilla. Nah, they meant Coruscant. So that's where I went. Enjoy the beats, Cal. What are we feeling like? I know you like this one, buddy. Let's go for this track. How about this one? What is, you killed some Jedi relic from the past. The one leading the Raiders? What was the bounty? No bounty. No bounty? You risked your life for free? I don't know. Not every reward is in credits. Besides, I'm pretty sure I get free room and board here at Pyloons. Is that what your life is worth, Cal? I didn't take you for a gambler. Listen up, Cal. Self and Duke and his flyboys were spotted buzzing above the Kobo Observatory. They're gonna rain all sorts of blasts of firing grenades on your parade, so keep your wits about you. We'll take him down. Now you're starting to sound like a real pro, Cal. This is the most fun I've had since landing on this rock. Barkeep, you look tired. Take a load off. It's good to see you. What? So how'd you two meet anyway? I all started with this Merc crew I joined. Grok had been recruited a few months earlier. On account of my good looks. That's right. Mm, and me on account of being the smoothest thing since Hut Blubber. Anyways, things were good until our outfit tried to pull one over on the Empire. So we... We took off and started our own thing. The rest of the outfit ended up dead or in prison. With the car, Grok! I was telling it! Kid doesn't need our whole life story. Uh-uh! Point is... Grok and I realized that we're better off just the two of us. We know the feeling. Later, buddy. Did I tell you my latest scheme? Don't think so. With the Empire here, thought I'd have a chance to turn a credit. Try selling useless scrap to a stormtrooper. I mean, how smart can they be? Oh. Turns out very smart. 
He immediately arrested me, smacked my head with the scrap, and threw me in a watering hole. Still getting into trouble, Turgle? Not exactly. In the watering hole, I found a shiny rock that the stormtrooper is sure to buy. Hey, Cal. Where's your buddy at? The boat's gone. I'm sorry. I know you two were close. He's not dead. He betrayed us to the Empire. Huh. Sounds like you're on the hunt, then. That's right. Do what you gotta do. Just remember that vengeance breeds vengeance. Yeah. I'll keep that in mind. Salutations. Do you know about the bile maw lurking in the mountain? Can't say I do. May seem peaceful, but when disturbed, it will charge and trample you. Its thick hide makes it resistant to even the strongest weapons. How would you approach it? Mind your feet. Its spray attack will leave pools of acid on the ground. Good to know. Thanks. The whole time, I always saw us as a family looking for a home. But now, I don't know, I'm wondering, if you don't have a home, can you truly be a family? The Mantis has always been our home, Grease. Yeah, maybe, but, you know, come on, it's not the same. I know, I wish I had something uplifting to say, but I, I don't. I just, I just don't, not now. I'm good, Cal. Stronger. I didn't want to believe something so despicable could have filled the vacuum left by the Order. I'm busy, young Jedi. Keep your head up. Tanalor is still within reach. But we must not delay. Turns out our skills go pretty okay together, huh? Garden's looking kind of respectable. Got new seeds to plant. When plants grow, you grow. Plants need me. Glad you stopped by. Take a look around. Oh, I knew that one would catch your eye. Good to me. I knew you'd pick that up. Can't go wrong with this. You know a good deal when you see it. Here you go. Good choice. Practically had your name on it. I'll grab this one. I'll save. 
Won't find that anywhere else. Hey there, friend. Thanks for the lift. A lot of chatter on the comms, kid. How you doing? Just reach the control center. I'll let you know if I run into any trouble. Welcome. I am Centauri Crew, the director of this experimental facility. Safety protocols require one person to remain here while the arrays are active. Breeze, unless one of us is gonna stay behind, we need someone here to activate the arrays. Oh, yeah, sure. I'll ask around. See if anyone's got a death wish. Maybe Turtle? Maybe not Turtle. Troopers, what are they doing here? Watch yourself! He's 
This looks promising. are online. Now we just have to activate them. Free must have locked down the facility when they evacuated. That's not gonna stop us. Proceed to the observation deck to initiate alignment. Huh. You got 
Got to hand it to Cree. She thought of everything. See, you made it. Breeze informed me you're in need of assistance, so here I am. That's a long trip. Couldn't have been easy. I might be 200 years old, but I'm as spry as a Padawan. Amazing. Oh, Cal, this is simply amazing. Can you start the arrays when we're in position? Oh, I stand ready for your order. It would be my honor to see Master Kree's dream alive once more. We're your master. Time to head back to the Mantis, buddy. And go through the abyss. I'm not thrilled about it either. It's the only way we're getting to Tantalor. Him, bud. better.
think next. is ready for a bumpy ride. Cal, is it time? We're heading to the abyss now. Fire up the arrays. I'll be monitoring your progress from here. May the force be with you all. And you see. think is taking Z so long? Dagangara was the only person to live through what we're about to do. At least we will die together. Hey, great pep talk, kid. Hopefully they can fit that on my tombstone. Look. That's what all the other poor saps said right before they were torn into vortex chow. Great. Now it's an obstacle course. Too fast? But you are faster. Stop piloting and start flying. I'm rerouting power from deflectors to the engines. What are you crazy? You're trading safety for speed. Exactly. We're all in on you, buddy. You're right. It's my ship, ain't it? Greasy does it, baby. <laughs> Not just you. Z, what's going on? The arrays are overloading. There's nothing I can do. What? We need to go faster. I'm going as fast as I can. Wait, wait a minute. Are you crazy? If you jump into hyperspace blind, they'll be picking up pieces of the manus all over the outer rim. Do you trust me? You know I do, Cal. <laughs> Let her ride.
did it, you three-armed son of a gundark! <laughs> well, at least none of us lost our cool. Huh. Wow. I hope it's worth it. So, this is it. Analore. You and Mara be careful out there, okay? Yeah, yeah, you too, BD. We'll all be okay, Grease. I'm gonna hold you to that, Cal. I don't plan on living out my days on this rock, especially not with that traitor. We'll be back soon. We'll talk some other time.